back to shadi learning in last class we have discussed about the dimensionality detection technique that is the principal component analysis and we have solved uh, two problems in that uh, principal component analysis and uh, now in this video we will see uh, the most popular and uh, very useful uh, topic for your uh, external examinations that is gram schemate process okay so in gram schemate process we are going to convert the orthogonal vector basis into the orthonormal vector basis okay so uh, you just uh, try to notify one thing so in, the, uh, in this gram schemate process we are going to convert these orthogonal vectors into the orthonormal vectors that's it okay now we will see the, uh, some of the basic concepts in the orthogonal uh, uh, what in this uh, gram schemate process how to compute the inner product of the vectors and how to find, find out these modulus oh, so those are all well discussed now okay so see here if i wanted to find out the inner product of the uh, two vectors assume that we got beta 2 or the two vectors having 1 0 1 and 1 1 0 as a uh, vector basis so if we wanted to find out the inner product of these two vectors in the sense so this can be computed as so uh, we have to multiply this uh, consecutive uh, elements okay so 1 plus 0 plus 0 okay so the inner product of these two vectors is 1 okay so this is how we are going to find out this inner product in the same way uh, now we will see how to find uh, this modulus okay so if i wanted to find the mod of uh, this particular uh, uh, vector in the sense there we are going to compute as the square root of the inner product of that particular vector okay now we'll try to compute uh, this uh, beta 1 minus uh, inner product okay so beta 1 into beta 1 so this would be square root of 1 0 1 into 1 0 1 okay inner product of the two vectors that is 1 plus 0 plus 1 that is square root of 2 okay so this is how we are going to uh, compute this modulus of beta 1 okay now we will see uh, some of the important uh, uh, what formulas in order to solve this gram schmidt process okay so this gram schmidt process can be uh, solved in uh, different ways now uh, for your sake and for easy purpose i am going to tell you one process okay so assume that the vector a having the orthogonal vector basis beta 1 comma beta 2 comma beta 3 and so on up to beta n so here if i wanted to find out the orthonormal vectors okay so orthonormal vectors are alpha 1 comma alpha 2 comma and so on up to alpha n okay so this is how uh, this is, these are the orthonormal vector basis which are obtained from this orthogonal vector basis okay now we will see how to find out this alpha 1 alpha 2 and alpha 3 so alpha 1 can be computed as what beta 1 to the modulus of beta 1 okay so this is how we are going to compute the, this particular alpha 1 okay so if i wanted to find out the alpha 2 in the sense so it would be computed as gamma 2 over modulus of gamma 2 okay then alpha 3 equals to gamma 3 modulus uh, gamma 3 over modulus of gamma 3 okay so here you might be wondering that uh, what is this gamma values how this uh, gamma values would be computed okay now we will see what is gamma 2 so gamma 2 can be computed as beta 2 minus inner product of beta 2 into alpha 1 into alpha 1 okay so this is how we are going to find out uh, this gamma 2 value then if i wanted to find out the gamma 3 in the sense so it is beta 3 minus inner product of beta 3 into alpha 2 into alpha 2 minus beta 3 into alpha 1 and it is multiplied by alpha 1 okay so this is how we are going to find out this uh, particular gamma 2 and gamma 3 now we will uh, try to find out this uh, other vector basis for this particular problem okay here the given problem is so use the process of gram schemate orthogon orthonormalization process to construct the orthonormal set of the vectors from the linearly dependent set so here they are given the beta 1, beta 2 and beta 3 as the orthogonal vector basis so we have to compute the orthogonal vector basis uh, for this particular uh, beta 1, beta 2 and beta 3 okay now first orthogonal vector is so alpha 1 equals to what i told you beta 1 over modulus of beta 1 beta 1 over modulus of beta 1 so here beta 1 values are 1 comma 1 comma 0 to the 
modulus of beta. We have to compute the modulus of uh, beta one. So this can be computed as square root of what um, what beta one into beta one, right? One comma one comma zero into one comma one comma zero. So this value would be square root of one plus one plus zero. This is square root of two. Okay. So modulus of uh, beta one is square root of two. Here simply I am going to substitute what square root of two. Okay. Now alpha one value is obtained. So that is one by root two times of one comma one comma zero. Then we will try to find out the uh, this alpha two value. So alpha two is nothing but gamma two over uh, modulus of gamma two, right? So first we will try, try to compute what is gamma two. So gamma two is nothing but beta two minus inner product of beta two into alpha one into alpha one. Okay. So this beta two value is two comma zero comma one to the inner product. We have to compute this inner product. So beta two into alpha one. Okay. <coughs> so for uh, finding out the inner product, so we have to take a beta two, two comma. Zero comma one into alpha one value. This should be computed. One by root two into one comma one comma zero. Okay, it is two by root two comma. So it is zero zero. Okay, sorry, plus zero plus zero. Okay, so this two uh, can be written as square root of two into square root of two or square root of two. This can be multiplied uh, or cancel. And then root two will be remainder. Okay, so root two is the inner product of this beta two and alpha one. Now we'll try to compute <coughs> this value. The alpha one value is one by root two into one comma one comma zero. Okay, so this root two root two will be cancelled. Then two minus one its value is one zero minus one in itself minus one. One minus zero minus one. Okay, so this is what the gamma two value is. Now we want to find out uh, this alpha two, right? Alpha two is nothing but gamma two over uh, minus of gamma two. So gamma two value is one gamma minus one gamma one over. We have to compute uh, the minus of gamma two, right? So for that, square root of one gamma minus one gamma one into one gamma minus one gamma one. Okay, so this can be one plus. So this is one. Minus two minus plus right one plus one. Okay, square root of three. So this is what the alpha two value is. So alpha two value is obtained as one by root three times of one comma minus one comma one. Okay. So the uh, other one we have is for the alpha two is one by root three times of one comma minus one comma one. Now we will try to compute the other one we have is for this beta three. Okay, this can be computed by uh, getting this uh, uh, gamma three. So this gamma three equals to so beta three minus so in the product of beta three into what alpha two into alpha two minus in the product of beta three into alpha one so into alpha one. Now here we have to substitute the beta three value here. The, the beta three value is two comma two comma one two comma two comma one. And we have to compute the inner product of beta three and alpha two. So beta three value is two comma two comma one, and it is the multiplied of it. Uh, so we have to compute the inner product, right? So for that, so alpha two. So just now we computed one by root three comma minus one by root three comma one by root three. Okay. Uh, so here we are computing the inner product, right? So for that. Sorry, oh, so two by root three. Sorry, uh, we are computing the number itself. So two by root three. This is minus two by root three. Then finally remains one by root three. So this plus two by root three minus two by root three will get cancelled. So one by root three will remain. So here one by root three times of alpha two value is one by root three. Okay, here one by root three, right? So one by root three. Comma. Also, I will just try to take comma. One comma minus one comma one. Okay. Then we have to compute uh, this beta three into alpha one. That is inner product. So beta three value is two comma two comma one, and alpha one value is one by root two comma one by root two 
command wave, right? So it is two by root two and plus so this is two by root two plus zero. Okay, so this is two plus two four by root two. So this can be two into two by root two. So this is two root two root two over root two. So this root two root two will get cancelled. Two root two will remain. Okay, so this is what inner product chapter. This one two root two. Okay, now we have to multiply this with the what? This algorithm value. Here algorithm value is one by root two times of one comma one comma zero, right? So now now we will see uh, two comma two comma one. It is minus what? Uh, root uh, this is root three into root three is one by three right so in one by three comma minus one by three comma one minus this uh, root two root two will get cancelled right the remaining thing is two comma two comma zero okay so this plus two this minus two cancel this two this two will get cancelled then the remaining terms are minus one by three comma one by three because minus half minus one by three so then one minus one by so here three one by three so this is minus one by three comma one by three comma what three minus one minus one what it will be two by three okay so this is what the geometry value is we have to compute uh, uh, the so I just to try to take comma one by three times of Minus one comma one comma two. Okay. Now we'll try to compute that alpha three value. So alpha three value will be one by three times of. Okay. First we'll try to find out the gamma uh, modulus of gamma three. So modulus of gamma three is square root of this one minus one by three comma one by three. Okay, so 
these are the orthogonal normal vectors obtained from these orthogonal vectors okay thanks for watching so if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section and we'll uh, try to clarify your doubts okay so if you like this video please try to share with your friends thank you yeah